Hello everybody, my name is Jimmy Scott Gaming, and first off, I just want a uh, little rant about UPS. First off, stop requiring your signatures for these orders, because holy crap, I've been waiting for this thing all week, just to say it's going to be delivered on Monday at 7 p.m. Apparently, I would have been home, I would have, there would have been no issues, I would have signed it and called it a day. For some fucking reason, it showed up early, so no one was here to sign it, so I got the, sorry we missed you, bullshit. So I just requested it to fucking, so I just requested it to just leave it at the facility. I will go pick it up. It's seven minutes away from my work. So I go ahead and set it to do that. I get to the place. I get to the place. First off, they're only open between 4 and 5 p.m. What the actual fuck? If you're going to require a signature, you should have hours that are off, you know, normal work schedule. Because how the fuck am I supposed to get this shit? Not possible. I had to leave work early to get it. And fucking, so I get there, and there's like seven people in front of me. Yeah, whatever, it's cool. It's a place, obviously. They know they're only open for a fucking hour, so they're there to do their shit too. I go inside, and there's one person working the station, and all the people in front of me had to get packages, like, ready to go to be shipped off, and she's making conversations with them. So they were open from 4 to 5 p.m., and I was there till 4.30, what the actual fuck? They just took forever. Just let me have the option of not requiring a signature. That's all I want. It's that simple. Who cares? I don't care if it's 10 pounds. It wasn't anything dangerous. So why did I have to sign it? Rant over. Anyway, I just wanted to say, guys, we finally are. We finally have something from Muskets and Media that's been heavily requested. The cap lock will no longer be the official demonstration for Muskets and Media for the Colonial to show you guys. Neither will the flintlock, the pirate flintlock pistol, but you might still see this in skits or, I don't know, I haven't opened the box yet. This might still be our most accurate gun. I hope to God it isn't because this one flat out says it's a replica. And then we'll use this for skits. So I'm very happy to yeet these on out of here, but I'm not gonna actually throw them because this is expensive. Anyway, let's open this damn thing. I've been waiting all day. I had to wait for I had to wait to get home from work, then I had to wait for Aurora to go to bed. I even thought about having Aurora in this video, but also thought, nah, with everything I need to say in my rant, that wouldn't be a good idea. Then I had to wait for Savannah to finish dinner, and then now I'm finally recording it, hence why I'm in my PJs, because I was not getting all dressed up for this. I am tired. I want to go to bed. This thing does have some weight to it, which is really... I can feel the ramrod. Oh, it's heavy! Paper. Oh, I'm gonna have to do this off camera. Oh. oh. Whatever that was, that was heavy as fuck. Oh yeah, this is definitely it. Oh, more fucking tape. Oh, there we go. Also, have you ever worked in Market Basket? Plastic cutter, best thing on earth. So you know, I don't work in market best anymore. I've kept mine for the five, three years I've been out of there. There's the barrel. Get the fuck off my gun, I'm so excited. Oh my God. All right, we want to be careful at the bottom. I'll flip it. Cause I don't want to damage the front lock mechanism. Ugh. My floor is a mess. This is another reason I didn't want to work here. Oh, look at the butt on that gun. Oh my god. That is beautiful. Look at that. So what we have here is a flintlock brown best musket. Oh my god, and it half cocks. And it full cocks. And it shoots! That's sick! Alright, the moment of truth. This is something I really wanted to get. Does the ramrod come out? No! The ramrod does not come out! Ah! Oh, no, they lied to me! Ah, oh, what the fuck? But look at this bad boy. I know, I'm not giving a good example. Look at this thing. So, it goes to half cock, which is insane, that I didn't even think it would do that, I just hit the wall. 
We go to full cock. This is your frizzin, your frizzin pan. There's nothing to go into the... I don't like that this does not stay up though. That's kind of fucked up. But we have a mock flint here that actually looks like it. But yeah, this is insane. Oh my God, and it's heavy. Oh, that's cool. I can't even hold it the proper way because I'll hit the roof of my apartment. This thing is so tall. It's almost as tall as me. This is, yeah, accurate. Accurate as fuck. I just wish I could take the out. There are some screws here. I wonder if I can mock take it out or something. It is smooth bore. And I think it only goes down to here. Um, which makes sense. I couldn't imagine. They don't want you to be able to mimic this thing and turn it into an actual musket. But that's cool. So there is one more thing to show. So the biggest reason I got this was, well, it's a brown best, obviously. The other reason I got this is because you know your history, you know there's one piece missing that's very traditional to have on your musket. Oh, I thought I stabbed myself. And if you look, we have a detachable bayonet to put on this thing. Now, I am seeing an issue. There's no way to actually lock it in, which makes me wonder if I am using this yeah, there's no way to lock it in. So if you look closely at the bayonet, you'll see that there is a, it's a mock, obviously. What you do is you would basically just put it on like this, twist it, and it would stay on. It feels very flimsy, which kind of disappointed in. So what we might do for, it sucks because I like the idea of being able to take it off. So what we might do is we might figure out a way to get this on tighter for the sake of, you know, the skits and replications. Because if I move this thing, yep, it falls right off. That's what I thought. Just a short video. I wanted to show you guys what we have coming. We have a our first replica, a brown vest. Um, a brown vest musket. This is a musket. This is not a carbine. We have a working flint which is nice i can shoot it which is nice no detachable ramrod though i'm gonna have my boys look at that see because there are screws here so i wonder if we can get it out i don't know if it's like glued in there because i like squeeze it and it feels like there's a rod down there but we'll figure that out and then we'll figure out how to get this bayonet on tighter maybe for the sake of skits we'll like tape it um because i do plan on using this to its fullest extent but anyway guys but anyway guys, this is what we have now. I'm very excited for this to be in episode three for demonstration purposes. The Colonial is gonna be a very, very happy man. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked what you saw, please like the video and subscribe. Turn on that bell so you can get notifications for when the next Muskets and Media comes out. And be on the lookout for more content with GB Scott. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good one.